And new here at six, the Palisades fire left behind mountains of debris and now experts are worried about toxins that may have vanished into the ocean from our recent rainstorm. KKL News reporter Elise Martinez shows us how they're testing the waters. We've never seen anything like this before. We're just trying to get sort of some baseline information about what we're working with. Heal the Bay's Naomi Maurice is collecting ocean water from Las Flores Beach. You can already see in our sample, there's a bunch of sediment in here. If you look down at the water, you can see there's ash, residue, and things like that. And all up along these beaches, we're already seeing a bunch of um, things from houses popping up. There's metal, there's glass. Bacteria, heavy metals, benzene, and mercury are just some of the toxins they're testing for, especially in front of ocean properties that burn to the ground, like here at Big Rock. If you think about anything that's inside a house, your washer dryer, maybe your car that's in the garage, chemicals that you have, anything like that, all of that completely burned up and there are no storm drains. So we're concerned that anything that was in those houses, anything that burned is then going to make its way into the ocean. They tested the water before it rained to get a baseline and then again after. We are just up at Paradise Cove, which is another control site and we're headed south. They also checked out Malibu Lagoon State Beach. It looks like maybe there's some ash or some residue from the fires. This junk wasn't here on Friday and Saturday when we were out, so uh, looks like it probably got washed in with the rain. The results won't be in for a few weeks, but Maurice says once they know what they're dealing with, Heal the Bay can take action and share some guidelines on what to do moving forward. In Malibu, Elise Martinez, KCAL News.